uh, traveling with the guitar. Uh, very often with the uh, guitar I have some many nice situations. Like remember when I was cycling with my uh, with my friend uh, Arek, we were cycling across uh, Slovenia, that's next to Italy, and there was part with a lot of wineries. And actually, with Arek, we, we 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 were like a drink of wine, yeah. But uh, so we also uh, we both get money just from uh, play music on the street. And we said, okay, Alec, we'll be good to try the, the one of the wine from the wineries, yeah? But so we don't have too much money to, to buy the buy, uh, the wine. But okay, let's speak with one of the uh, boss, uh, the winery. And we came to some winery and we asked the guy, uh, we said that we live from play music on the street and we go, we are on the way to uh, cycling across all Africa and we have money just from play music. Can we try your wine just for the play music and he showed on the table please sit down and you know he was bring like three or five kinds of wine homemade bread and homemade sausages this was, when, this was in what country uh, in slovenia and that was all just for the music that's why I love music now. And, uh, no, no, I love I have a question. How many, how many continents? I know you visited what? Oh, probably close to 100 countries. How many continents? No, 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 not 100. Uh, 50. Now this is 53rd country. 53 countries. Yeah, yeah. Huh? In 10 years. Yeah. And you've made several trips prior to this trip. You had made several shorter trips. Um, yeah, generally uh, when I stop in some place, sometimes I flew back to, to Poland, yeah, but then I flew back to the same place and I continue from the place where I stopped last time. Yeah? Uh, and it's all on a bicycle, that bicycle right there, with the exception of sailing when you sail from uh, South yeah, Africa exactly. <laughs> over to Cartagena, Colombia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was also for. Very interesting experience. It took you what? How many months did you say it took you? Three and a half months sailing from, okay, just from the um, Cape Town to Trinidad. Uh, but then I spent three months on the Trinidad, yeah. But also with the boats. I mean, I was painting the boats, yeah, to earn some money. And uh, what? Oh, I somebody was kicking. And uh, so it was occasion for me to earn some money uh, during that time also. So it was fun. Now tell me the story again of, of how you started this particular trip. Uh, aha, yeah, yeah. So that's that's quite a long story. Uh, just just give me uh -huh. a brief version. Um, so actually, like uh, since I've got the first bicycle when I was uh, when I had the first communion when I was. Uh, seven, eight years old, I've got the first bicycle, and so first I was cycling just around my home, around my village, around other villages. In the Poland, I was cycling a lot, lot, lot. Actually, uh, since I finished the, the uh, primary school, every vacation I was cycling, cycling somewhere in the, in the Poland, like one, two weeks, yeah. Uh, but uh, My, mainly by yourself or in groups? Uh, depends. Just every year I was cycling. If someone was joining me, fine. If not, I was just cycling. Yeah. And um, two years was doesn't happen because once okay uh, with my colleague uh, the second day cycling he had some accident so we came back to our town and then I thought okay next year I will be cycling more and then next year two weeks before uh, I was planning cycling and that part Poland and then uh, Lithuania uh, I was fell down uh, in uh, my work from the shelf and I screwed my leg so I was stuck. You broke your uh, leg? No broken, it's true. You, the, twist, the you twisted your twist. ankle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was stuck second vacation without cycling, without traveling by bicycle, yeah? And I was just getting crazy. And I was planning to the next year, the third year, make so big journey that I will have enough cycling and I will start stabilize my life, yeah? To find a proper woman, to have a family, uh, 
uh, build up the home, put up the tree, yeah, and yeah, that way. Uh, then I was planning the cycling around the Europe. After the six months cycling around the Europe, where you don't have the same day, every day is different, different places, different people, different adventures. After that six months traveling, I came back to the same uh, work for IKEA, work on the line. And after two weeks, I told to myself, I don't want to spend the rest of my life like that. I will just survive the winter time. After winter time, I quit the job and I start cycling around the world. And that was that was in 2006, so nine years ago. Since that time, I cycled around the world, step by step, with some breaks, time to time. Um, Fifty-three countries so far. Nine and a half years. And you had a, you told me about an accident you had in uh, Kenya. Mm, yeah, shit happens. Um, yeah, yeah. So I was Were you injured yourself? Yeah, I was hit by the by the truck in, in Kenya. At that time, I was cycling with uh, my two friends. Uh, and actually, uh, they saved my life. Uh, because they first I was lying in some small uh, hospital uh, in the jungle, but then later they, they fixed uh, a helicopter for me, which was bringing me to very good uh, Nairobi uh, uh, hospital in uh, Nairobi, and uh, they uh, they make uh, very good three, oper three operations to put all the puzzles. Uh, together, uh, my face was in 16 places broken, and I had also broken back. So they they made very 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 good job. Uh, but after that uh, three weeks, three operations, I flew back to Poland for one year and three months rehabilitation. But during that time, I was only dreaming to build a new bicycle, flew back to Kenya, and continue cycling across Africa. And thanks God, I did it. Yeah.